there's some more details about conditionals that we should talk about. If you don't use the curly brackets, sometimes your indentation can confuse you. This code looks like the else is paired with the first conditional. While that's what the indentation implies, the compiler actually ignores indentation entirely. That means that we need to know how the compiler decides which if to pair that else with. This is called the dangling else problem. The rule that the computer uses is that it will pair the else with the closest if that doesn't have an else block. That means that the else will be paired with the second if, and the compiler sees the code like this. You should play with those to see that the output for them is not the same. Be the machine. I'm waiting, Snoomy. What did you find? One difference is the output when grade equals 95. If the else was connected the way the indentation implies in the original code, a grade of 95 will cause excellent to be output. But when the co code is compiled, a grade of 95 will cause excellent and poor to be output. If you really want the else to be paired with the first if, you can force that to happen by adding the curly brackets. When you do that, when the compiler gets to the else statement, that inner if is already finished and can't accept the else. So the else gets paired with the first if. However, this code clearly doesn't give the behavior we'd expect. In fact, there are no values that will cause average to be output. To see why, think about when grade is 85. That will make the first if false, so the else block will be executed and poor will be output. More specifically, the condition comparing grade to 80 will always be true when it's executed. Notice that it is inside a block that requires that grade be greater than 90, so everything that gets into that block must be bigger than 90, so it's also bigger than 80. Just for completeness, Let's look at the code that gives the expected behavior. Be the machine. That's right. Test it with a few values of grade to make sure that you see why it works. This version is fully parenthesized and you can never go wrong that way. However, sometimes when you have a sequence of mutually exclusive options like this, we leave off the curly brackets on the else and put the next if on the same line as the else. Even though these are nested conditionals, some people think that it more clearly expresses the idea that there are three options being selected. 